Welcome to the introduction to SNOMED CT tutorial. My name is Ian Spires and I will be your presenter for the first part of this tutorial. After which, my colleague John Zamet will then present the second part. Today, we're going to present a number of SNOMED CT topics. Firstly, what is SNOMED CT? Then, a brief introduction to SNOMED International and delve into some of the key features of SNOMED CT. We will discuss how SNOMED CT can be customized and how it can be used for analytics. Finally, we will discuss SNOMED CT implementations and benefits and how you can learn more about SNOMED CT. So let's start with what is SNOMED CT. In the last two decades, there have been great advancements in digital systems to meet the needs of all healthcare professionals in performing their daily tasks. The key component of these systems is the electronic health record, which improves communication and increases the availability of relevant and critical clinical information. For an electronic health record to function at its optimum level, it requires the use of an up-to-date and comprehensive clinical terminology. As the most comprehensive clinical terminology in use around the world, the implementation and adoption of SNOMED CT in healthcare systems globally enables a multitude of benefits. SNOMED CT is currently used in more than 80 countries, and this number is continuously growing. The increasing use of SNOMED CT across the world is showing the fantastic possibilities and benefits of SNOMED CT in enhancing interoperability, the effective sharing of clinical information. Let's now examine more about SNOMED CT. SNOMED CT supports a consistent recording, retrieval, sharing, and analysis of clinical data. As you can see on this slide, Healthcare information is recorded in electronic health records for many purposes, including when a subject is given a diagnosis, when a procedure is performed on the subject, such as an operation, when medication is prescribed, and when specific tests are requested. A system user would not only require the need to record such data, but also to effectively retrieve, share, and analyze the data. SNOMED CT is a comprehensive clinical terminology which has been designed to meet these user requirements. We will see how SNOMED CT supports these requirements throughout this tutorial. SNOMED CT is not just a coding system of diagnosis. In fact, it covers a broad scope of clinical meanings that are relevant for recording in clinical records. This means it also covers other types of clinical findings like signs and symptoms. It includes surgical, therapeutic and diagnostic procedures. And it includes the observations which clinicians may perform. SNOMED CT also includes content representing body structures, organisms, substances, pharmaceutical products, physical objects, physical forces, specimens, and many other types of information that may need to be recorded in or around the health or care record. SNOMED CT is a global terminology. The comprehensive scope of SNOMED CT reduces the need to support multiple incompatible and overlapping code systems. This means SNOMED CT can be implemented as the common terminology for consistent communication, retrieval, and processing across clinical specialities and between healthcare facilities at local, national, and international levels. The international release currently has more than 350,000 unique concepts in 19 top level hierarchies. SNOMED CT content can be updated with new concepts and changes or inactivations of existing concepts. It has a history mechanism, which is a log style append only data model to track all changes to each component, providing full traceability. It is released every six months 
so the terminology can continuously adapt to current practice and keep up with changes in medical knowledge. You can use SNOMED CT to record the level of detail a clinician or speciality requires. Different levels of detail relevant to the stage in the clinical journey can be captured. For example, at the first visit, impaired social interaction may be recorded. Then once the assessment is completed, autism spectrum disorder may be recorded. This allows analysis at different levels. SNOMED CT has been designed from the experience and knowledge of past clinical terminologies. SNOMED CT was first released in 2002 by the College of American Pathologists. The first release contained a merger of the content of earlier versions of SNOMED and the read codes. The design of SNOMED was based on identified user requirements, practical experience and scientific principles established in peer-reviewed publications. SNOMED was acquired by the International Health Terminology Standards Development Organization, IHTSDO, for the public good in 2007. In 2017, IHTSDO adopted the trade name SNOMED International. In 1998, Dr. James Semino published a paper, Desiderata for Controlled Clinical Vocabularies in the 21st Century, in which he set out the 12 requirements for future clinical terminologies. These requirements were driven by the need to represent meaningful information in a consistent, processable and permanent way, while also enabling continual improvement and addition. Just over a year later, the desiderata were adopted as 12 of the 15 agreed requirements for the design of SNOMED CT. The other requirements related to international scope, support for translation and practical implementability. SNOMED CT also has a logic-based design based on description logic. SNOMED CT is not just a code system. It represents clinical ideas in a structure based on the meaning of these clinical ideas. It does this by using definitional relationships linking different components within SNOMED CT. This structuring is based on a predefined set of rules using description logic. These logical relationships allow computer systems to conduct meaning based processing of SNOMED CT encoded data. And this is useful for many reasons, including supporting system alerts, protocols, analysis, decision support, and knowledge linkage. However, it's not just about what happens inside computer systems. As you'll be aware, healthcare professionals can refer to clinical ideas by different names or terms or abbreviations. SNOMED CT enables multiple human readable terms to be used for a clinical idea, which could include different languages. How all this links together using the SNOMED CT components of concepts, descriptions and relationships that you see on this slide will be explained later in this tutorial. SNOMED CT has quality assured clinically relevant content that is regularly updated. SNOMED International ensures a quality approach to SNOMED through using personnel, including experienced authors with clinical backgrounds across varied domains, and technical experts who manage product release and quality assurance processes. Also through publishing guidance and education material, for example, editorial and mapping guidelines. Processes used include automated rules validation and pattern evaluation and through collaboration with subject matter expert groups, stakeholders, and other standards bodies. SNOMED International engages in processes to undertake broad examination across all hierarchies. Through its quality initiative, it adopts a greater focus on correcting structural anomalies, as well as modification of content, resulting in a higher level of clinical accuracy. 
There are maps from SNOMED CT to a number of international standards. Here are some examples of SNOMED CT maps to international standards. The International Classification of Diseases ICD-10, the International Classification of Diseases for Oncology ICD-O, and the Global Medical Device Nomenclature GMDN. These maps are released by SNOMED International and are created by specialist mappers who have domain knowledge of the source and target of these maps. Local codes and free text can also be mapped to SNOMED CT where appropriate by owners of this data in accordance with license agreements. Mapping between code systems has many advantages, including enabling cross-domain queries and analysis. So as you can see, SNOMED CT can act as a bridge between code systems. SNOMED CT can be configured to meet specific user requirements. For example, a national extension may be created by a member country that requires its own specific national content or descriptions in a specific language to be added. This has already been achieved by many of SNOMED International member countries. An example is Australia has its own national extension and Sweden has a Swedish language version of SNOMED CT. Published SNOMED International and country specific content can be visualized in the SNOMED CT browser. How SNOMED CT features can be extended to meet specific requirements through extensions reference sets and language preferences will be covered briefly later in this tutorial. I'd like to now talk briefly about SNOMED International. SNOMED International is a not-for-profit standards organisation. It owns and maintains SNOMED CT on behalf of and in partnership with its 39 member countries. SNOMED International is owned, governed and funded by its member countries. Member fees are based on national wealth. SNOMED CT is free for use in member countries and there are modest fees to use SNOMED CT in non-member countries. SNOMED International's vision for the next five years is by 2025 clinical terminologies will be used globally which will result in better health and patient outcomes, supported by one language of health. This slide lists the current memberships of SNOMED International. Currently, there are 39 countries. Membership has grown steadily from an initial group of nine members and is continuing to grow with many more countries expressing strong interest in joining the organisation. SNOMED CT is an international standard that has had thousands of hours of clinical expertise gone into developing and maintaining the standard. A clinical terminology like this would be almost impossible to replicate in a cost-effective way, so there is a huge advantage in leveraging this existing resource. Memberships offer many benefits. For example, Member countries get free use of SNOMED CT and related products. Membership allows country representatives to be part of the General Assembly and participate in other meetings and forums. And while SNOMED CT is an international standard, members have the permission to create their own national extensions and translations of SNOMED CT. New members are offered free member inductions. Also, a number of member education benefits exist. For example, anyone who resides in a member country receives access to the foundation course for free and 50% discount on all other courses and certifications. National release centers also get two free courses and one certification enrollment per year. Now, Let's move on to talk about the design and the features of SNOMED CT. For those of you who have never been introduced to SNOMED CT before, there are three basic components you need to know about to understand the fundamentals of SNOMED CT. 
These components are the concepts, the descriptions and the relationships. Firstly, concepts. A concept is a clinical idea that has a unique meaning and has a unique identifier. So in this example, the doctor is thinking about this clinical idea and in this case, a heart attack. So this is what we call a concept. It's a clinical idea in the head of a clinician that has a unique identifier, which by the way, cannot change over time. Next, let's explain descriptions. Descriptions are the human readable terms that are associated with these clinical ideas. In healthcare, there are often different ways of saying the same clinical idea. Here, we have myocardial infarction. This is often also known as heart attack or a cardiac infarction. So, there are many ways of saying the same clinical idea. These descriptions, as you can imagine, could also be in different languages, as long as they mean the same clinical idea. There are two main types of descriptions. The first one, the fully specified name, is the description that uniquely captures the meaning of the clinical idea. All the remaining descriptions are known as synonyms. Descriptions also have a unique identifier, as you can see. As we stated earlier, SNOMED CT covers a wide range of clinical information that may need to be recorded in or around a health record. This slide shows the top level hierarchies in SNOMED CT. All SNOMED CT concepts sit in one of these top level hierarchies. These hierarchies provide a way of organizing the concepts in SNOMED CT. So it's important to have an understanding of how this is done. This slide shows how concepts are linked together in a hierarchy with subtype relationships. Here you can see myocardial infarction has an ISA relationship to myocardial disease, which means myocardial infarction is a type of or subtype of myocardial disease. Acute myocardial infarction has an is a relationship to myocardial infarction, which means it's a subtype of myocardial infarction. These are often described as parent and child concepts. At the top of the hierarchy is the root concept and all concepts are descendants of this concept. All concepts have at least one is a relationship and can have more than one is a relationship. Below the root concept sits the top level hierarchy concepts, in this case, clinical finding. Concepts get more and more specific as we go down the hierarchy with the most specific concept at the bottom. So relationships are what connects SNOMED CT concepts together and there are different types of relationships. First of all, we have the is a relationship as illustrated on the previous slide in a hierarchical view. If we take a more detailed look at myocardial infarction, it actually has four is a relationships to different parents. Myocardial infarction is a type of ischemic heart disease, a type of myocardial disease, a type of myocardial necrosis, and a type of necrosis of anatomical site within the SNOMED CT structure. These multiple ISA relationships form what is known as a polyhierarchical structure. Aside from ISA relationships, we also have other relationship types, attribute relationships, which allow us to specify defining characteristics of SNOMED CT concepts. And these attribute relationship types help to define the meaning of a concept. So in this particular case, we have the concept myocardial infarction, and it has a finding site relationship to the myocardial structure. This concept is from the body structure hierarchy. Each relationship 
is actually a triple of three concepts. There's the source concept, which is the one being defined. In this case, it's myocardial infarction. Next is the attribute concept, which in this case is finding site, which helps to tell you what type of relationship it is. And finally, there is the attribute value, which in this case is myocardium structure. There's another attribute relationship for myocardial infarction. It has an associated morphology relationship to infarct, which is a concept from the morphological abnormality hierarchy. The next feature that I will introduce to you is the SNOMED CT concept model. The concept model defines the rules for how SNOMED CT concepts can be defined. So for each attribute or relationship type, such as finding site, it defines the permitted source concepts, which is called the domain, and the permitted target concepts, which is called the range of the attribute. So if we look at the attribute finding site, this attribute specifies the body site that is affected by a disease or a condition. The domain of the finding site is the set of clinical findings. This means that finding site can only be applied to concepts that are a subtype of clinical finding. And the range of finding site is the set of anatomical or acquired body structure. This means that the value of a finding site must be a subtype of anatomical or acquired body structure. So for example, if we consider the relationship fracture of bone has a finding site bone structure, this relationship satisfies this concept model rule because fracture of bone, the source concept, is a subtype of clinical finding and therefore in the correct domain. And bone structure, which is the value for the target concept, is a subtype of anatomical or acquired body structure and therefore in the correct range. As SNOMED CT uses description logic, relationships between concepts can be inferred. For example, let's look at how fracture of femur is modelled in SNOMED CT. Fracture of femur is a fracture of the lower limb, and fracture of lower limb is a fracture of bone. Fracture of femur can also have inferred relationships, i.e. relationships that are not stated, but because of logical definition can be inferred. So it can be inferred that fracture of femur has an is a relationship to fracture of bone. Also, because fracture of bone has an is a relationship to the next higher level concept, which in turn has an is a relationship to its next higher level concept, a pattern that is repeated all the way up the hierarchy to disease, it can be inferred that fracture of bone has an is a relationship to disease. Likewise, fracture of femur and fracture of lower limb have an ISA relationship to disease. So inference allows us to state that fracture of bone, fracture of femur and fracture of lower limb are all types of disease. Inference allows a lower level concept to be a type of any of its higher level concepts which it has an ISA relationship pathway to. This is extremely useful when you want to state which concepts are descendants of a particular concept. This powerful feature is often used when performing analysis or used when expressing a set of concepts as a high level concept and all its descendants. For example, fracture of bone 
and all its descendants could be used to search for whether a subject has had any type of bone fracture. A good way of searching on and viewing all the SNOMED CT concepts, descriptions and relationships is using the SNOMED CT browser. In this example you can see the concept viral pneumonia, its descriptions and its SNOMED CT concept ID. As you can see the concept has two parent concepts, infective pneumonia and viral lower respiratory infection. You can also view viral pneumonia's attribute relationships that are used to further define the meaning of the concept. The browser also shows that viral pneumonia has 16 direct descendants, children, that are all types of viral pneumonia. Some of these concepts also have their own descendants. The browser also allows you to view a concept in a diagrammatic form. Here you can see the concept viral pneumonia once more and all its defining relationships. Now we have talked about the big three, the concepts, descriptions and relationships. I will move on to talk about the features of SNOMED CT that allow us to customize SNOMED CT to meet specific requirements. The next really useful feature of SNOMED CT that is worth understanding is the ability to create extensions. The international release currently has more than 350,000 unique concepts in 19 top level hierarchies that are useful across multiple countries and healthcare systems. However, SNOMED CT is designed to allow the international edition to be enhanced by adding additional content that is required for local use to meet the needs of countries, specialities and realms, to meet vendor needs or to meet local business needs. This additional content is added into a SNOMED CT extension Extensions may include both local components, so that means additional concepts, relationships or descriptions that are required locally, and also local reference sets to define local subsets, language preferences and maps between SNOMED CT and local code system. Every extension must have at least one authorised namespace which is created and managed by SNOMED International. The namespace is used when creating new SNOMED CT identifiers in an extension to ensure that these identifiers are not just unique locally, but they're also unique globally. Here is an example of a concept identifier from an extension. The digits shown in red are the namespace identifier, and this helps to ensure that these local extension identifiers are globally unique. The next feature of SNOMED CT that we're going to look at is the reference set. A reference set is a mechanism for representing references to SNOMED CT components to support a variety of different requirements, including defining a subset of SNOMED CT concepts. This may be to limit a search list or perform message data validation. A reference set can be used to specify language preferences by indicating which descriptions are preferred and acceptable in a particular dialect, region or context. Reference sets can also be used to define the display order in a search list to create alternative navigational hierarchies to make data entry easier, to create alternative aggregation hierarchies to support analysis for a specific use case, to add annotations about each reference component, and to map SNOMED CT components to and from another code system. Over the next few slides, we will look at three of the most common uses of reference sets, subsets, language preferences, and maps. A subset is a collection of components for a particular purpose. 
Here you see a set of three description components and their associated terms in the international edition of SNOMED CT. Common cold, influenza and viral tonsillitis, all members in one subset. The bottom table shows how to represent this subset as a simple reference set. And as you can see, the identifier for each subset member is applied to the reference component ID of a ref set. So this means that the three concepts represented by the reference component IDs are all members of the same simple reference set. This reference set is versioned and can be published for sharing with the wider community. Subsets can be used for a number of purposes, including for searches and data entry, for example, restricting searches to a set of concepts or descriptions, or specifying descriptions to appear in a list of options, or constraining data entry to a specified set of concepts. Subsets could be used for the information model and communications, for example, specifying value sets for particular data items. They could be used for data retrieval and analysis, for example, specifying query criteria. Subsets can be used for any purpose that requires selective inclusion or exclusion of specified sets of components. And now we will look at two different ways in which a subset can be represented extensional and intentional. Firstly, if a subset definition is extensional, that means that its membership is defined by enumeration, or in other words, by listing the individual members, like the example on the slide for different patient appearances. Extensionally defined subsets of SNOMED CT components consist of a list of SNOMED CT component identifiers. Most SNOMED CT subsets are defined extensionally using simple reference sets. Reference sets can also be used to specify intentional subsets. If a subset definition is intentional, that means that it is defined using a query and membership is computed by executing that query. In SNOMED CT, Query specification reference sets can be used to represent the intentional definitions of subsets of SNOMED CT components. So in this case, membership is defined by a set of rules, and the rules are expressed as a query that computes the reference set members. Queries use SNOMED CT's expression constraint language which is a formal syntax for representing SNOMED CT expression constraints. On this slide, a query has been expressed in the SNOMED CT's expression constraint language, which states, include all descendant concepts of disorder of lung, which has an associated morphology of edema. Using this query, a list of concepts can be computed that meet this criteria, for example, adult respiratory distress syndrome. If we now look at descriptions and language preferences, in SNOMED CT, each description has additional information on what type of description it is, whether a fully specified name or a synonym. The fully specified name represents a unique, unambiguous description of a concept's meaning. The fully specified name is not intended to be displayed in clinical records, but is instead used to disambiguate the distinct meaning of each different concept. Each concept can have only one fully specified name in each language or dialect. As you can see here, the concept with a fully specified name of myocardial infarction disorder in the international release can have different language fully specified names in different language reference sets. 
Here we highlight fully specified names for the Netherlands language reference set and the Canada French language reference set. A synonym represents a term that can be used to display or select a concept. A concept may have several synonyms. This allows users of SNOMED CT to use the terms they prefer to refer to for a specific clinical meaning. Illustrated here are some of the synonyms in the international release for this concept, as well as the Netherlands language reference set and Canada French language reference set. This slide illustrates how descriptions may be marked preferred or acceptable in one language. Looking at the US language reference set example here, it has one fully specified name, myocardial infarction disorder. Three of the concept synonyms, myocardial infarction, heart attack, and cardiac infarction are also shown. In a language reference set, it is also possible to distinguish between types of synonyms. One synonym may be marked as preferred, in this case, myocardial infarction. This is known as the preferred term and is a word or phrase commonly used by clinicians to name that concept. In each language, dialect or context of use, one and only one synonym can be marked as preferred. Any number of other synonyms that are valid in a language, dialect or context of use can be marked as acceptable. As you can see here, other descriptions describing the same SNOMED CT concept may be marked preferred or acceptable in another language. Another common use of reference sets is to represent a map between SNOMED CT and an external code system. A map is a specified link from one coding system to another code system. Maps represent the relationships between the codes in each of the code systems involved, which may be simple code systems, terminologies or classifications. This could be a map from SNOMED CT to a classification or a map from a local code system to SNOMED CT to support a data migration activity. Here is an example of a map from SNOMED to ICDO oncology codes. This particular map is represented as a simple one-to-one -one map. However, other types of maps can also be represented using reference sets, which allow additional information such as mapping rules and different correlations between the map source and the map target. I'm now going to pass you on to my colleague, John Samet, to do the second part of this tutorial. Hello everyone, my name is John Zamet, and welcome to part two of the introduction to SNOMED CT tutorial. I'm going to start by talking about how we can use the features of SNOMED CT to support data analytics. Analytics tasks supported by SNOMED CT can be grouped into three distinct categories including point-of-care analytics, population-based analytics, and clinical research. We're going to start with point-of-care analytics. This is all about enhancing the care of individual patients. Examples include displaying appropriate information and historical summaries, guideline and decision support integration, communicating and sharing relevant information, retrospective searches for patterns requiring follow-up, and point-of-care reporting. Let's have a closer look at an example of point-of-care analytics. Imagine we have a patient who has been diagnosed with viral pneumonia, and we have recorded that in a SNOMED CT-enabled EHR. Now this concept is represented by an eight-digit unique identifier and a descriptive term. Typically, the identifiers are not displayed in the user interface because they do not provide any meaning which is clinically relevant to the user. 
This, by the way, is one of the differences between ICD codes and SNOMED CT codes. Let's take a closer look at how the concept viral pneumonia is defined in SNOMED CT. And for this, we can use the SNOMED CT browser and look up the concept with this ID. We can see that this concept has two parent concepts, which says that this disorder is both a type of infective pneumonia and also a type of viral lower respiratory infection. If we look at the additional defining characteristics specified for this concept, we can see that viral pneumonia is defined as having a pathological process of infectious process, having an associated morphology of inflammation and consolidation. It has a finding site of lung structure. And lastly, it is defined as having a causative agent of virus. Such defining characteristics are explicitly stated for every concept in SNOMED CT. And this enables detailed inferences to be made. Now, when we encode our health records with SNOMED CT, we can use those clinical records to make inferences and answer clinical questions. So for example, let's say we have a set of questions that we want to answer. We might be able to use the formal definition of the concept to answer some of those questions. So let's say the first question is, does the patient have a respiratory disorder? The answer is yes, because as you saw on the previous slide, the concept is a subtype of respiratory disorder. We can also answer yes to the question about whether the patient has an infection because the disorder is also defined as a subtype of infectious disease. Some additional questions we can answer in this case. Does the disorder affect the liver? Well, no, the finding site is not a subtype of liver structure. Does the disorder affect the lung? Yes, the finding site is lung structure. And is the disorder caused by a virus? Yes, because the causative agent in this case is specified as a virus. The next example we'll show you falls into the other analytics categories. Population-based analytics is all about enhancing the care of populations of patients. For example, epidemiological monitoring and reporting, pharmacovigilance, supporting cost-effective delivery of care, such as auditing the delivery of clinical services, and planning service delivery based on emerging health trends. And then we have clinical research. This is about the cause and management of diseases. Examples include identification of clinical trial candidates, predictive medicine, and semantic search of clinical research publications. Note that the technique we'll be using in this example is subsumption. Subsumption is when one concept is a subtype of another concept. So this approach uses the SNOMED CT hierarchy. Let's consider a fictitious population of patients. Within this population, each patient has had one of the following disorders coded using SNOMED CT. Viral pneumonia, bacterial pneumonia, tuberculosis of respiratory system, and suppurative otitis media. These disorder concepts are placed in the polyhierarchical structure of SNOMED CT. Note that we simplified the hierarchy here for this example. Now suppose we want to identify the people with a respiratory disease. This means that we have to identify the descendants of the concept disorder of respiratory system and then count how many people within our population are associated with any of the subtype concepts. Similarly, if we want to identify the people with bacterial infections, we need to determine the descendants of the concept bacterial infectious disease, and then identify the patients with those diseases. And in this example, we identify people with pneumonia. So you can see here that we can use the polyhierarchical structure of SNOMED-CT 
to group together patient records at different levels of granularity, depending on what information you're looking for. Let's now move on and spend some time on topics which relate to the implementation of SNOMED CT. We'll begin this discussion by considering implementation from a project perspective. Implementing SNOMED CT can be thought of in a number of stages which involve strategic, technical, and practical considerations. From a strategic perspective, the first step is to adopt SNOMED CT as part of a solution. Following adoption at the strategic levels, there's a need to plan the practical ways in which SNOMED CT will be used and the steps that must be taken to achieve that. From a technical perspective, an organization must first identify and specify requirements for the required system. It may either seek to procure a system that meets those requirements or choose to design and develop such a system. Vendors and other developers may design and develop systems that use SNOMED CT in order to respond to a specific procurement request or to produce or update marketable products and services. From a practical perspective, Successful deployment and use involves configuring systems to meet needs of users and key stakeholders and motivating effective use of the system delivered. So as you can see by this diagram, the phases of a SNOMED CT implementation are not unlike other IT or development projects where planning and requirements analysis are so important because they set you up for success in all future phases of the project. It is important to understand that there are a range of different approaches that can be used to implement SNOMED CT, from using it as a simple code system through to using it as a powerful terminological resource. When SNOMED CT is used in a simple way, there are still many benefits that can be achieved by simply using a common code system. However, the more complete the implementation, the more benefits that can be achieved. Later in this tutorial, will provide examples of the types of benefits that can be achieved through both simple and more complete implementations. It's also possible to use a stepwise approach from a simple to a more advanced implementation. So in summary, SNOMED CT implementation is not all or nothing. Let's explore the different ways you can implement SNOMED CT in a bit more detail. You can use SNOMED CT as a code system to store clinical information. And this is the approach many people think about when they think about implementing SNOMED CT. This is when you're recording health information about a patient and you actually store the SNOMED CT ID in the patient record. This also serves as a foundation or starting point for additional functionality. You can also use SNOMED CT at the user interface level to capture and display clinical information. This is where the description of the SNOMED CT concept is displayed in the UI. And as you may know, we have different descriptions or synonyms for each concept. You can use SNOMED CT as an indexing system to retrieve clinical information. This is true whether or not SNOMED CT is stored natively in the patient record. For example, you may use another code system and then you map to SNOMED CT, which then allows you to use the SNOMED CT hierarchy to identify records. SNOMED CT can be used as a common reference terminology, whether or not you're storing SNOMED CT codes natively in your system. If you don't, once again, you can map SNOMED CT so everyone is using a common language or reference terminology. This can also be used to integrate data from different systems so that it can be queried in a consistent way. Next, we can use SNOMED CT as a dictionary to query, analyze, and report. This leverages SNOMED CT's hierarchy and defining relationships, which are the clinical definitions for each concept, just like a dictionary has definitions. And these definitions can also help to link the records to knowledge resources such as context-specific clinical guidelines or decision support artifacts. Lastly, SNOMED CT can be used as an extensible foundation to represent new clinical ideas. Note that this implementation approach leverages post-coordination. In summary, post-coordination 
uses a predefined compositional grammar so one can represent new clinical ideas which haven't yet been defined in SNOMED CT. So this approach offers additional flexibility. On this slide, we're going to look at a high-level system design for an electronic health record system, or EHR, which also shows the interactions that may occur between various system components. EHRs are usually designed with both a health record data store to record health-related information about each patient, and a terminology data store to record the codes and terms that may be used in the health records. In order to initialize or update the terminology data store, SNOMED CT and other required code systems are usually loaded and installed from release files. Patient records are then entered by the user using the terms presented in the user interface and stored in the health record data store. These records are then searched and retrieved by users and displayed once again in the user interface. The data recorded in both the health records and the terminology can be queried and compared with decision support rules and clinical guidelines to determine appropriate messages and information to display to the user. Health records data may also be extracted into a data warehouse or similar secondary data store and queries can be executed over the data to generate reports and perform various analytics functions. And lastly, communication can occur in which health records are exchanged with other systems or applications. For countries or territories who are thinking about using SNOMED CT or becoming members of SNOMED International, it may help to consider the strategies which can drive adoption at a national level. For example, a country can mandate the use of SNOMED CT for specific purposes, require the use of SNOMED for national reporting, introduce national services which support local adoption of SNOMED CT, and introduce incentive payments for the use of SNOMED. Here we have some information which relates to how SNOMED CT is used around the world. Ian already mentioned our members of which there are 39. But in addition to that, SNOMED is used in more than 80 countries. This is due to affiliate licenses, which have been issued in over 40 additional countries and territories. The graphic you now see on the screen indicates members in dark blue, as well as the places where affiliate licenses have been used in light blue. And the number and complexity of SNOMED CT implementations continues to increase in terms of national adoption, there are a number of countries and regions where government policy has endorsed the use of SNOMED CT. Those interested in learning about existing and planned SNOMED CT implementations around the world should visit www.snomedinaction.org. Examples include the East London Integrated Care Program in the United Kingdom, a Drug Allergy Clinical Decision Support System at Hospital Italiano in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and Snow Owl MQ, which is used for clinical documentation and analytics in Singapore. Now that you have been introduced to a range of topics relating to SNOMED CT, let's now circle back and talk about the benefits of using the terminology. Let's start by clarifying what we mean when we say meaning-based processing or meaningful view. These terms are often used when talking about the benefits of SNOMED CT. In a nutshell, the idea is that a health record system should be designed in a manner which then allows a computer system to automatically process the records and present meaningful views to clinicians and researchers. This is particularly important nowadays when we are dealing with massive quantities of data. Many legacy EHRs focus on process views of healthcare. They record what happened as a chronological sequence of events. They can provide information about who did what and when they did it and to whom. And this can be useful for a number of reasons, such as management, billing, and planning. However, they are not so good at presenting or analyzing the current situation of the patient 
and they lack the semantic features required to draw inferences from data to support enhanced decision making. On the other hand, meaningful health records can present a relevant view of the current clinical situation. This can provide information about immediate priorities and outcomes based on different treatments. This is extremely valuable because it facilitates clinical decision support. SNOMED CT was designed to support meaning-based processing. In fact, its design is based on the desiderata that James Samino identified in his peer acclaimed paper about the requirements for a clinical terminology. Using the categories we identified in the analytics section, let's now discuss how SNOMED CT can benefit each of these groups. We'll start by considering how SNOMED can enhance the care of individual patients. And then we'll consider healthcare delivery for populations. And finally, research and evidence-based medicine. As I just mentioned, SNOMED CT supports meaning-based retrieval of information from the health records of individual patients. By implementing consistent and effective data entry practices, this in turn can enable enhancements in the delivery of individual patient care. For example, the selective display of relevant clinical information using customizable queries and the delivery of real-time information to help clinicians make appropriate decisions. That same ability to provide meaning-based interaction with the electronic health record allows guidelines and decision support systems to be integrated with electronic records. SNOMED CT makes this integration possible by leveraging its concept model, or more specifically, the defining relationships which provide the formal definition of its concepts. For example, there is a linkage between the drug aspirin 300 mg and codeine 8 mg oral tablet and the finding allergy to codeine, because both concepts use the substance codeine as part of their definition. This can make it easier to trigger decision support alerts or links to clinical guidelines. Additionally, when used as a common reference terminology for use throughout the healthcare environment, SNOMED CT can aid in communication and sharing of information with others involved in providing care to the patient. This can help to improve the coordination of services and overall quality of healthcare to the individual. And lastly, another example of benefits to individual patient care is the use of retrospective record queries to detect patterns of disease and treatment that requires follow-up. For example, even when a patient is not actively being seen by a clinician, analysis of their record may reveal that they're on a drug that is no longer recommended for their condition. Meaning-based retrieval of information from health records can also assist delivery of effective care to populations of patients. So in this way, health records that use SNOMED CT can enable enhanced epidemiological monitoring and reporting. They can also facilitate research into the causes and management of diseases. Furthermore, reports on emerging or national or local health trends can support effective planning to address future healthcare requirements. The ability to retrieve information about previous conditions, treatments, and investigations can also contribute to cost savings by enabling the reduction of unnecessary duplication of costly investigations and interventions. Even greater savings are possible by using available information linked to clinical guidelines to reduce the risk of costly errors and adverse events. Enhanced audits of care delivery with options for detailed records analysis of outliers and exceptions can also help to reduce cost and improve the effectiveness of care delivery. And lastly, SNOMED CT enabled analytics can support the research of clinical knowledge and evidence-based healthcare by enabling the following. The identification of clinical trials candidates, research into the effectiveness of different approaches to disease management, Clinical care delivery planning, for example, determining optimum discharge time. And planning for future service delivery provision based on emerging health trends, perceived priorities, 
and changes in clinical understanding. Now that we have discussed the different ways that SNOMED CT can be implemented and the benefits to different groups of users, let's summarize the benefits of SNOMED CT implementation. And there are four broad areas of benefits. These relate to the priorities of key decision makers. The benefit of leveraging a well-established global terminology as a solid foundation for representing clinical records. The benefit of using SNOMED CT to improve access to clinical guidelines and decision support, which can lead to better outcomes and reductions in duplication of effort. The benefits achieved from interoperable information supporting communication and knowledge linkage. And lastly, the benefits that arise from improved clinical and business intelligence, which is enabled by the availability of more reliable information to support planning and delivery of healthcare services. Let's close out this tutorial by exploring some of the resources which are available to those looking to learn more about SNOMED CT. SNOMED International hosts an e-learning platform where we offer several formal courses, both tutored and self-guided, as well as learning pathways which have been designed to allow students to tailor their learning to their individual needs. Our courses teach you the SNOMED CT knowledge and skills through online presentations, practical exercises, assignments, tutorials, and assessments. People who are new to SNOMED CT or those with a general interest in SNOMED might be interested in taking the foundation course, which is one of our formal offerings. This course provides an introduction to a broad range of SNOMED CT related topics, including the why, what, and how of SNOMED CT. And then we have several advanced courses. The implementation course, which provides an in-depth understanding of the SNOMED CT specific knowledge and skills required to implement a SNOMED CT enabled system. The course starts every January and July. The authoring level one course, which teaches you the knowledge and skills needed to perform basic SNOMED CT authoring tasks and prepare you for the certification exam. This course is offered every March and September. And lastly, a new terminology services course and certification, which teaches the principles of using a SNOMED CT terminology server to search and retrieve SNOMED CT content. In terms of the learning pathways, we have SNOMED CT for developers, SNOMED CT for data analysts, and a new learning pathway specifically for clinicians will be launching soon. In the future, we'll be offering a more advanced authoring level two course. For more information about these educational opportunities, please refer to the link provided. The SNOMED CT document library is another tool you can use to learn about adopting, authoring, implementing, deploying, or using SNOMED CT. Many of the aforementioned e-learning presentations are based on more detailed documents from our library. The documents in the library are organized by category. For instance, we have overviews, which in general provide information which is relevant to people who are new to SNOMED CT. We have guides, which offer guidance on specific topics, such as using SNOMED CT to support analytics, and the SNOMED CT editorial guide, which is relevant to content authors. And lastly, we have specifications, which tend to be more technical documents you will refer to on an as-needed basis. For example, the release file specification or SNOMED CT compositional grammar. The library is hosted on a web-based platform called Confluence, which provides a convenient mechanism to navigate the library and review its contents. For those that prefer to read documents offline, the documents are also offered in a printable PDF format. The document library can be located at snomed.org slash doc, and we encourage you to explore this free resource. In addition to updating and releasing SNOMED CT, SNOMED International also provides support to the community. It provides customer and stakeholder relationship management, clinical and vendor engagement programs, collaboration support for our members, and a website for all up-to-date information and regular communications. 
Snowman International encourages collaboration with the broader community. So how can you get involved? Through groups. The organization hosts online environments to allow collaboration and communication, which are particularly relevant for advisory, project, and reference groups. There are clinical reference groups, which provide a framework to facilitate discussion between clinicians focused on specific clinical specialties or topic areas, and dialogue between clinicians and Snowman International. We also have a vendor marketplace where vendors of Snowman CT can exchange business information with potential purchasers, which is an important part of encouraging and promoting the uptake of Snowman CT. There are also opportunities to get involved locally through the member organizations. And one can also attend events. In addition to Expo, Snowman International organizes two business meetings per year. There are regular webinars. The Clinical Web Series is a collection of webinars where clinicians working with Snowmed CT share their real-world experiences. The Research Web Series is a collection of webinars presented by distinguished researchers from the Snowmed CT community. And the Implementation Web Series has a goal of enabling discussion on implementation best practices and user perspectives about SNOMED CT implementation. SNOMED International meetings can be found on the What's On This Week website. Lastly, SNOMED International has a number of communication channels, including the website, help desk email, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And that brings us to the conclusion of this tutorial. Those interested in learning more about SNOMED CT or the topics we explored as part of this presentation should refer to the links provided on this slide. On behalf of SNOMED International, we would like to thank you for your time. We will now welcome any questions or comments you may have.